Hey to fam, it's your girl Gladys. Welcome back to the channel. I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that'll encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. Today, we're gonna talk about wig hacks. I have seven easy wig hacks that anyone can do. Really hope this video helps y'all out. This is actually a part two. I did a part one about nine months ago. Y'all really, really enjoyed that video. So I was like, you know what? Let's bring it on back. I got a few updates for y'all. One of these hacks is something I've never done before. I actually got the idea from one of my subscribers, so shout out to you. We'll see how it goes. Premiere party, if you're watching live with me and chatting with me, shout out to you. Thank you so much for being here. And if you like what you see, make sure you like and share this video with a friend. I promise you, no matter what your skill level is, whether you're a novice or you're advanced, I'm sure you will learn something from this video. So let's dive into our first wig hack. I talked about it in part one. Have to talk about it again because I just need everyone to know this baby right here if you have not tried simply styling silicone spray where have you been where, where have you been sis maybe you're new to wigs that's cool I'll give you a pass but this spray right here is the perfect elixir when it comes to detangling maintaining my wigs especially my synthetic wigs and shout out to the homies at simply styling because they are sponsoring today's video I have been talking about this spray for the past two years because I just love it that much. I really need y'all to just add this to the cart. Bam! I have been talking about a silicone spray that I use. Now this right here will get your synthetic wigs right. This silicone spray is a must have. Here's the thing about synthetic wigs. If you're new to them, they tangle, they shed, they are not made for long-term wear. So it is helpful to have products that will help extend the life of them. Not saying that it's going to cure all synthetic wig woes, however, it's nice to have something that aids in the maintenance of them. And this is what the silicone spray does. Because the way silicone works, it coats the hair, protects the hair, helps penetrate the shaft, seal the strands, so that way you have a more finished look, and it aids in detangling as well. I have an entire video on this spray. Please check it out. I have all details in that video. And as you can see here, this is what this silicone spray can do. Do you see how this wig is looking after I applied it and detangled it? It looks amazing. And actually, this is the wig that I'm wearing now. I have that wig in a 1B, but I also have this wig in a brown color. This is an old wig. Free Trust Equal Brisa is discontinued, y'all. I'm so sorry. I love this wig so much. I really wish they would make a new one for 2022. Maybe if y'all comment down below, maybe they'll do it. I'm going to show y'all in a moment how well, like, I was able to detangle this wig with the help of my silicone spray. I'm telling you, if you don't take anything away from this video, grab this spray. Tons of you have already tried it and have given me great feedback. If that's you, make sure you drop your experience in the comments so that people know. Look, we don't get keep around here. It's just not in my DNA. If I love something, I gotta let the world know. So this this is it. I've been using this product for years. Shout out to my girl Allison because she's the one that put me onto it from the very beginning. So in turn, I have to put it on to all of you. If you're interested in trying this out, I do have a $5 coupon for you. Use my name Gladys as the coupon code so you can get your money off. And do y'all know that Simply Stalin is a black owned business based out of Dallas. My Texas people, where y'all at? Sound off. This being a black owned business makes me ride for them even more on top of the fact that it's an excellent product. So make sure you check them out. I also will leave some links to their blogs as well so that you can get more information about silicone and some of the differences. Be sure to check them out on Instagram as well, Simply Styling Hair, and make sure you tell them that your girl Gladys sent you. All right, time for wig hack number two. I'm excited about this y'all because wig hack number two is why this wig has been brought back to life let me let me show you what this wig was looking like when I took it out of my closet y'all see that it was looking crazy <laughs> so I was like you know what I need to put the girls on and let them know what I do when my synthetic wigs start to look like a rat's nest and I know at this point normally we throw wigs away but I like to have fun with my wigs and I like to revive them every once in a while especially if wigs like this that I absolutely love I've had this wig for four years now three or four years and look at this y'all I mean yeah the ends are a little bit little bit frizzy but like it still looks good so I have to let you in on the secret this right here is my steamer I've had quite a few steamers in the past but I recently bought a new one because I was like you know what 
those cheaper steamers they always drip all over me i want to invest a little bit more money and i bought this one from amazon this is by con air and i must say i'm very impressed with this one i believe it was 69 dollars to me compared to my cheaper steamers i've had over the past few years this is worth the price i'm a fan i'm bringing this out because i steam my wigs when i want to do a serious revamp of a wig that i love this steamer comes in handy because the combination of the water and the heat to create the steam oh my god it will do wonders to your synthetic wig job and you know what i need to try it on human hair wigs too think about it when you go to the hair salon and let's say you get like a hot oil treatment they're using steam because it helps penetrate the hair shaft so i'm gonna show y'all exactly how i use this keep watching can y'all believe this is how bad my barista was looking? Oh my goodness. So I grabbed the push pin and we're gonna get to work. I sprayed a little bit of the silicone spray and I'm working at the ends first. But this is a little tough, so I had to use my fingers to separate it and then comb through with my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. And I'll talk about that later. Black owned business, I love this brush. I'm still separating here. Let me just stress that it's very important when detangling that you start at the bottom first and then work your comb through. I'm spraying some more. I noticed that my silicone spraying was getting on my mannequin head. Not sure if that affects the mannequin at all, but I wiped it clean and it seemed to be fine. Now, do not be afraid to cut out the pieces that are just too tangled. I had to do that with a few pieces by the nape because y'all know with these synthetic wigs, the nape area gets the most attention <laughs> because it's rubbing against your neck, it's rubbing against you know your collar, whatever. So this is what we're looking like. The, the side over here is looking great. This side still needs some work, but I'm definitely making progress. I feel like overall this process took me like no more than 20 minutes. Actually, it was pretty quick. Quicker than I expected considering how tangled it was. And on the other side, I'm just doing the same thing I did on the first side. loving this steamer I am loving it you can find it in my Amazon store y'all I also like that there's a turbo button which makes it extra hot this heated up in literally like five seconds if that so as you can see I'm using my paddle brush and just going through the hair and it's steaming y'all I just love this process because it just adds that extra oomph to each strand of hair I feel like I'm really taking care of my baby for real my little brief the baby <laughs> Look, if you need to revamp your wigs, please, please don't skimp on the steaming step. It makes a huge difference. this steaming process is this something that you've done before or is it something that you're willing to try please drop your comments and if this video is helpful so far make sure you share this with a friend like the video because this will push my video out to more people because I need everybody to be coming through this fall and winter season with their wigs laid and slayed honey just because you're a beginner doesn't mean that you don't have to look good in your wigs I actually have an entire wig 101 playlist with tons of tips especially geared towards my beginners so please check that out after this video and i'm sure you'll find videos that'll help you out in that playlist okay y'all wig hack number three we're gonna talk about lessening the density of your wigs 
and flatten the crown just to make it look more natural. For most wigs, unless you're paying hundreds up to thousands of dollars for your wig, you're gonna have to do some type of finessing to make it look natural. And the first thing I notice, especially with beginners, is that when they put the wig on, they often forget to flatten down the top of it. It always comes with this little hump or cone looking shape. And the easiest way to be rid of that is to use heat. He will be your best friend. Nowadays, most synthetic wigs are heat safe, so you don't have to worry about burning them up. But what I'll normally do, like you'll see in this video right here, I'll go in with a blow dryer and just flatten down the top so that way the humpiness can be eliminated. One of my favorite tools as far as lessening the density though has to be my Revlon blow dryer brush. This brush right here has held me down for what like almost three years now. I use it for my natural hair and my wigs. It definitely helps transform my wig. So I want you to watch this clip right here to see how I use it to transform one of my outre units. I'm going to use this right now to fix these curls. So I'm all done blowing out some of the curls. Look at this. Look at how pretty this looks. Wow, this looks a lot better to me. So again, the reason why I use the blow dryer brush is because I wanted to tame some of the curls. As a result, the wig might look a little bit longer and that's fine. I did blow dry it on low heat and it didn't take me but like maybe a minute. I think that's just like a really quick and easy way to style wigs like this that are very high density. Do y'all see how different that unit looked once I was done with it? Just by applying some heat, just by flattening down the crown, you'll have a much more seamless, natural looking install. Look, we know we're wearing wigs, but it doesn't have to look so wiggy. You know what I'm saying? This to me is super important. This is something I really tried to perfect in the beginning of me wearing wigs. I think I got it down packed now. <laughs> Hopefully this video will help you as you practice too. And I'll also show you another example of Sensational Alpha Woman. That was a very packed, dense wig. And you'll notice that with a lot of the older synthetic wigs, they're like that. But using that blow dryer brush, look at the difference. I'm telling you, grab this brush y'all. It'll be linked down in my description box. Now, speaking of the blow dryer brush y'all, I actually have a new contender. This brush right here is the Knot, the Knot Doctor. It's Infinity Pro by Con Air. TikTok made me buy this, y'all. I saw one video, I was like, oh, gotta try it out. This is a blow dry brush, just like the Revlon one. You can see the differences here as far as physically. I think the most important difference for me is the fact that one, on the Revlon brush, the heat comes out of the top part, and this brush, the heat comes out all throughout. And even more importantly, you can actually remove the head of this brush right here. You just clip the sides, you can remove it, so it makes it easier to clean. And when the bristles get, you know, too dusty, then you can just buy a new one. I've tried this out already, and I like it so far. Do I like it better than my Revlon? It's like neck and neck right now, to be honest. If you're interested in this one, I'll link it as well. I may even do a tutorial with it, who knows? Definitely follow me on TikTok because you're more likely to see it first there nowadays because I've been posting a lot of content on Is That Your Hair for TikTok, so please check me out. But yeah, y'all, I like this a lot. I'm not getting rid of my Revlon one now. That's still holding me down, but this is definitely a good contender as well. Okay, wig hack number four. We're gonna talk about tint and lace. I discussed this in seven easy wig hacks part one where I use a tint spray, but this time I'm gonna show you how I do it using my foundation. So check out this clip right here. All right, so this is gray. The foundation that I love to use, that I swear by, is this liquid foundation. It's the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Foundation in the color D90. This is what I use when I'm trying to blend lace, when I'm trying to change the color of the lace. And the reason why I use this is because the liquid will penetrate the lace. If you try to use something like this, like Black Radiance Pressed Powder or any pressed powder that is your skin tone, it's still going to look chalky. It's not going to penetrate the lace the same way this foundation does. So that's why I opt for this when I'm changing the lace color. And I advise y'all to do the same. Trust me on that. So I'm applying the foundation on the angled brush, just a droplet. Hey, you see that? You see how the the ashiness starts to disappear. Look at that. It disappears. Take your time and fill it in. And you'll see, you see how that foundation is taking that ashiness 
away. I'm telling you, if you use powder, you're not going to get the same effect, y'all. Please listen to what I'm saying. I will not steer you wrong with this. Y'all see how easy that was? It, it, like literally y'all I just want to take the guesswork out of this whole wig thing it doesn't have to be complex it doesn't have to be difficult use this video as your guide seriously because when I tell you that tip right there is game changer I'm a dark-skinned woman so you know lace is normally not made for my complexion I always have to tint it and I just realized that using the foundation to me has gotten the best blend Sometimes even better than using my tint spray. The foundation I've been using, CoverGirl D90, you can find it in my Amazon store. It'll be linked. And everything that I use in this video, y'all, is already in my description box. Please check it out. You'll see it in my Amazon storefront. And I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you do shop through my links, I do get a small commission. It helps me out tremendously. It helps me pour back into my channel. And y'all been shopping. I really appreciate it. Thank y'all so, so much. Okay, y'all, we've made it to wig hack number five. So, in my part one video, wig hack number five has to do with the fake scalp, and I used the paste. I saw a YouTuber do it, and I was like, I gotta try it myself. Y'all loved that hack. So, one of you commented on my video saying, hey sis, foundation sometimes is an orange undertone for dark skin. You should try acrylic paint. And I was like, huh, really? So, look what I got. <laughs> I got some paint from Amazon. We're about to use this for a wig but not this wig on my head i got a bob i'm about to show y'all in a second this bob is by sensational this is butter lace 22 i actually already tinted the lace with my foundation literally i've done nothing else to this bob we're just gonna take this bang wig off okay and i'm gonna show y'all you see my fresh braids oh nothing feels better than when i get my hair freshly braided ready to slay a fucking wig like <laughs> I be feeling like the baddest bitch. You feel me? Okay, so this is the bob. And you see how I'm just plopping this joint on. Let me tell you, the lace on the butter lace wigs are insanely nice. You see that? Now that I've tinted it, looks pretty good. It definitely needs to be plucked more at the hairline, but... We're not focused on that right now. We're literally focusing on this parting space area because we're doing a fake scalp today with acrylic paint. What is going on? Okay. So I did mix in some of the beige color with the brown color, but I don't know if it was really necessary. The main thing I'm focused on here is just making sure that the holes are filled up. Also, I'm not bringing the paint all the way to the front. I'm leaving a little bit of room because I will put a little bit of powder to properly blend the fake scalp. Somebody please tell me what happened here. What, Gladys? <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all, but this did not come out the way I expected. I put way too much paint. So you know what I did? Went in with my black eyeliner and just started filling in that gap. If there's anything I'm going to do is I'm going to finesse the wig, okay? <laughs> Even if it comes out crazy. So I'm just filling it in. I'm really just doing it very haphazardly honestly i wish i did it neater but that's fine and then i went in with the pressed powder to try to clean it up a bit i'm just not feeling how i did this part and i definitely feel like i need a do-over if y'all want to see me do this again let me know one thing i am pleased with is the color i think the color of the scalp came out exactly the way i wanted it to so the bark brown with a little bit of beige was a nice combination overall i think i like the got to be glue paste hack better than the acrylic paint but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments all right, y'all, let's talk about wig hack number six. This is an important tool that I use when I'm detangling the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. Remember that um, easy detangler brush that was super popular some years ago? Especially on YouTube, I used to see it everywhere with naturals. Bump all that. I've tried several, and I know one of my knockoff ones broke. <laughs> I think I got it from like wish or something this right here is so amazing it's durable and shout outs to miss naturally mary because she's the one that initially put me on right and then i saw it on my girl Brittany, aka the hearts and cake 90 her channel look at this this is not going anywhere i have type 4 like 4 bc z e f g type hair and this glides through so well especially if i have the right conditioner and some oils what I love the way this detangles my natural hair, and especially 
when I'm coming through my wigs, like the kinky coily ones. And if you're trying to make your curls pop too in your wigs, you definitely want to use this as well because I just love the way it separates each strand of hair. But here's the thing, y'all. I checked Amazon and this tool is sold out. Oh my God, it has several colors. All of them are sold out. But I did notice that they have a travel size of this, which I'm actually about to buy. It's like $12.99. I put it in the cart. It's pink. I'll link it in my description box in case you want that. I noticed in the reviews that some people were using it on their children's hair. I would still use it for my wigs at least, but I need something like this for my actual natural hair. So if you want to check that out instead, you know, but if you can get your hands on this original one, I'm telling you, this will be your best friend on wash day, especially when you are washing and styling your wigs. And do you know that this is my black owned business? You know, I really need to reach out to her and see when she's going to restock because this is a must have in my wig arsenal at this point. So the last wig hack I have for you, wig hack number seven, is this right here. This is the Got To Be Glue Spray Wax. So you know how when you buy human hair wigs, sometimes they'll give you a wax stick. Well, this is that in spray form, which I thought was really cool. Shout out to Wheezy Wig Reviews on YouTube. Please check out her channel because she does a lot of awesome informative reviews. So I saw this and I was like, I gotta have it. This one's cool because it's a two in one, right? So you do like a more flexible texture or a more structured hold here. You see, you can twist it. Do I have it on one or two? I don't know. But either way, usually people use wax sticks to help tame the flyaway hairs. Also, you can use a wax stick to also help blend and mold the hair. The way you would use it is you just spray it right here. And you know, you can dab it with your fingers. You can use a brush. I'm gonna use this right here and this will really help tame those flyaway hairs. This wig didn't have a lot of flyaway hairs to begin with, but I do recommend this if you do not have a wax stick or if you don't like using one, try this spray wax. I think it's a really cool concept. I'm glad they came out with it. Guess what? We made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know which hack is your favorite from part two. For me personally, favorite would definitely be my Simply Style and Silicone Spray. This has been holding me down for so long. Now the fake scalp hack, Wow. <laughs> I would have never thought to use acrylic paint, but I'm really glad I did. Let me know what you thought about how it turned out because I think it's very interesting. I think I want to try it on some more wigs. What do y'all think? If you would want to see it again, let me know. And feel free to check out my other videos featuring how I've done my fake scalp with the actual got to be glue and the paste. Make sure you check me out on TikTok because I post on there damn near every day at this point. Very frequent short videos and I'm trying to build a community on there. We just reached 6k so come join me. I'm also on Pinterest. I'm on Instagram. I'm everywhere y'all so feel free to follow me on other platforms. And of course if you're vibing with your girl subscribe to my channel. Turn on those notifications so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you made it to the end I appreciate you so much. Premiere Party thank you for watching. I know I have been a little bit MIA. I know I've been inconsistent on here but I'm getting back in the zone. I just really needed to you know live my life and be present. I was so frustrated because I wanted to get my Jamaica vlog out to y'all. You know, that's the one where I went to hedonism. And if you don't know what hedonism is, it's a clothing optional resort. C and I went for our fifth anniversary. We had a bomb time. My computer should be back, hopefully by the time this video comes out. <laughs> Right now I'm using C's computer, but I need that computer. I need mine. All my info that I need is on there. So we'll see y'all. Pray for me that everything works out and that I do not have to redo this vlog. I have other vlog footage coming. I have fashion hauls coming. Come join me. Join the family. You're going to love it here. Also, shout out to Simply Stylin' for sponsoring your girl. They always take care of me and I love working with them. Thank y'all so much. Check them out because they are black owned and we support black owned over here. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank you for watching. Watching. See you in the next one. Bye.